Hi everyone! In this short video, I'd like to show you how to search the database called ScienceDirect. This is the opening screen of ScienceDirect, so you just want to put in your keywords connected by AND in this top box, and you don't need to fill in these other boxes. Just click Search, and with these terms, I got 1,291 results. So now I want to limit in a couple ways. One thing everyone should do is click the subscribe to journals link so that you know that you'll get the full text. And you could pick a few years, make sure they don't get too old. And if you're looking for a review article, because you've already found your research articles, you could click review article and then you'll only get that type. So you can see right here it says review article. I'm going to recommend that when you want to look at the article, that you go to the PDF. So I'm going to click on that. This is what you get when you open up the PDF. It actually opened it in a new tab. Your original search is right over here. So you can scroll through the article. It looks just like it does in a regular paper journal. And one thing I want to point out, because you'll need it for your citation, is in the footer, they put the DOI number. So you'll need that when you do your APA citation. And that's where you can find it in this database. This database does not offer you as much help with citations as some others. So you'll have to get all the pieces and put them together. You have all the information you need between this section and the DOI in the footer. That should give you all the things you need to make a good citation. If you decide you like this article, just use this to download it to your machine. And that's what I'm going to recommend. They don't have a very smooth email function, so I would download it. And when you're done with this article, click on this other tab and you're back at your result list and you could pick another article to look at. Those are the basics of searching. Just remember, you just keep changing your terms up here, and you'll get a different list every time you change your terms. And you can decide if you want to look for review articles or research articles. Just change which box you have checked. That's it for now. Please remember, you can always get in touch with me if you need any help, or you can get in touch with any librarian through the chat box on the homepage. Good luck.